my god! Ser Serrano! Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Serana, we've made it back to Fort Dawnguard. I think I misspoke earlier and called it Dawn Star, but why they have two things with such similar names in Skyrim, I, I just don't get it. But anyhow, Fort Dawn Guard. Let's go inside with the Elder Scroll that we recovered from the Soul Cairn. Is everyone asleep? What time is it anyway? Oh, five o'clock in the morning, okay. I tell you, traveling can really make you lose track of time. Wait a minute. D Dexian? W why are you wearing the bandage I over your eyes? Was successful. What's going on? Um, I, I bought, I brought the Elder Scrolls. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. What, what's happened to you? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Oh no! Are you... are you... Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Can anything be done to help you? No. It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. No! Then we're finished! No, there is another way. The question is... How much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? Well, what do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Um, well, you should worry about that, but tell me, what is it? Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim, in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Can you explain this ritual? It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Carefully gather the bark. How do I do that? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Okay. So, can you tell me what went wrong? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. So it's normal then for Moth Priest to go blind? Sadly, yes. Oh no. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a Moth Priest is in his latter years. But in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. All right, thank you, and I've helped you all that I can. You. The rest is up to you. All right. 
Where's Serana? You all didn't chase her off, did you? Hello, my friend. Durak. Seems like you something you would do. I know you've lost two wives. I don't blame you for not liking a vampire. All right, let me find her. Who are you? Oh, Agni. You know what? I don't recognize you when you're in uniform. Where are Serene and Gunmar? Oh, here's Gunmar. Gunmar! Cozy little place, isn't this? What can I do to help? I found another beast hiding from the light of day. He's holed up with a group of necromancers. We need to destroy him before he turns his comrades into a brood of vampires. All right. I'll get right on that. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, can I take a look at these trolls? Oh, look at them. Look at them in their armor. Wow, they look really deadly. I hope we reach Ancestor Glade soon. Um, we might have a, a pit stop to make. Let me check with Serene and see if she needs anything. Here she is, Serene. Do you have a moment? Gunmar and I have been talking and, well, we're slightly worried. Really? We realized that if Isran's even allowed us in here, he must be really concerned. And if he's that concerned, the situation must be pretty bad. Make sense? Well, of course. You're worried about what we're up against. Yes. These vampires are a new threat, and a truly deadly one. Gunmar and I agree that we're going to need Florentius to help. Gunmar and I have a lot of work to do here, so we were hoping that maybe you could track him down. Um, who is Florentius? He's a priest of Arkay. Well, he was. It's... it's complicated. Isn't everything? He's a little eccentric. But we can trust him, and we could definitely use his skills. All right, well, where can I find him? Well, that's the thing. We don't know where he is. Haven't seen him in years. I think he had regular contact with the Vigilance, and I know Isran kept track of them. So maybe you could ask Isran if he knows anything? Just keep in mind that he... Well, he might not like the idea. All right. Why do I feel like I'm being set up? Serana, should you be that close to the fire? You're a vampire. I thought fire was deadly to you. All right. You're grown. Do your own thing. Okay, let's go see, um, Isran. You're certainly getting around for a blind man. I just saw you downstairs. Wow. I guess he's going by memory. Where is his Ren? Someone's up here. 
is Ran? Are you in here? Oh, there he is. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Sleep is for the weak. I need to find someone named Florentius. Who said something? Sorin or Gunmar? I thought they'd have learned their lesson by now. I don't trust that man. And I don't want him here. Well, Sorin thought we'd need his help. I suppose she's right. I shouldn't let my personal feelings get in the way. No, you should Last I heard of him, he was aiding the vigilance of Stendar at Runvald. He may still be there. If he can maintain some appearance of normalcy, I'll allow him to stay. Normalcy? What? What do you... All right. Keep your eyes open. Even with all my preparations, we can't be too careful. The monsters right. could strike Sirana, us at any you ready? Alright, we've got so many things to do, I don't even know where to start. Let me just, like, took notes while all these people were talking. Let's see what I've got. All right, there's Finding Florentius. Um, Vampires. And then the thing with the Moth Priest and the, um, reading the scroll. I think we should go for the Flo Florentius first. Because once we read the scrolls, we may be closer to fighting, or fighting, battling your father. So, come on, let's go. Alright, so we're headed to the Vigilance of Stendar in Runevald. Okay. All right, Saran, I've got a horse for you now. Let's just head up here. This, this is, um, I need you to do well, or else I'm going to have to get Nematis to, to come and help me. Oh my god! S Serana! over here. Moonvolt Temple. I can't get in it without a key. Alright, Zerana. I'm hoping you can catch up.
Ow! What, vampires? Serana? Good to see you back on your feet. Alright, who are these people? Something else is out here. All right, whatever it is, it's gone. Okay, come on, let's go. Okay, this was a little tricky to get to. But here we are at Rune Vault Excavation. Well, at least here I am. Hopefully, Serana will catch up. What a Dawn Guard war axe? I hear that they have particular extra powers against the undead. All right, this is Volk's journal. I knew I should have volunteered for the excavation earlier. For months, Morik had been going into the vigilance, going on to the vigilance about detecting mystical energies deep in the East Mountains. He said he'd found some old tombs, tomes, about the ruins of Runevald or something the like. A Nordic chamber, thousands of years old, I remember thinking, yeah, if it's so old, how come no one's found it yet? There's plenty of adventure, adventurers wandering around these parts. Seemed like most of the other vigilants agreed we had more important things to do, but Morik took a team and went digging. And when he started turning up a long buried temple, well, didn't I feel like a troll in a dung heap? Soon enough, he was sending back letters to the hall, begging for as many men as we could send. It, I didn't volunteer at first. Still, seemed like a myth to me, but when word came back that he'd hit the main chamber, I packed up and headed this way to help. Always did want to be part of history, and better late than never, they say. Well, didn't the mention that the late comers would be stuck with guard duty? Oh, well, they didn't mention, okay. I just sit here, sit up here all day watching for bandits and wolves, neither of which I've seen. Mostly, I just see diggers coming up for supplies. Gotta say, I've been seeing them a lot less regular now than I think about it. All right, it's been three days since anyone's come up. The last one to emerge was Appa, and he just walked around a bit with a weird vacant look in his eyes, told Florentius and me to come down as soon as we had the chance, then trudged back in. Something ain't right, and I aim to find out what. Okay. All right, Serana. It seems Let's like something... Faster. The sun is... 
This is not great for my skin. I know. It's not, it's kind of cloudy, though. You should be all right. All right. Well, here we are at Runevald. Come on. Let's go in. Yeah.